Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can integrate JSON server API in Angular. So first we have to run our JSON server, then we will test our API with the Thunder client. Uh, even in last part, I told you how we can start uh, JSON server and how we can test that API with the Thunder client. But again, uh, that will not take so much time. So I'll just perform these two steps again. Then uh, we will make a service file and call our API, display the data over the UI. And at last, we will discuss some important interview questions also. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. All right. So now let's move to the first question and start our JSON server again. So open uh, your uh, terminal again, wherever you install the JSON server, and then you can put npx JSON server, then file name, which is db.json and minus minus watch. And this command will continuously check the changes if, if there is any change in the db.json file. And hit enter now you can see that this is running on 3000 port and if you want to check the documentation where you can check this command then you can simply do that json server type a code and here you will go and here is this command all right okay so yeah uh, minus minus watch is basically continuously check the changes if you not do that then it will not check the continuously changes but still it will work all right Okay, so here you can see that API is still working fine. There is no issue. After that, what is the next step? We have to test this API with the Thunder client. So just copy this URL and uh, move to the Thunder client. Then click on the new request. And this is, you have to select the get request from there. And then uh, API URL. And here you can see that this is returning the 200 request, uh, 200 status. That means this is completely working fine time size and here is the data so this is ready to uh, uh, integrate now the next thing is how we can integrate we have to create a service for that and let's open terminal yeah and uh, then clear this out and we can run one command to create new service which is ng g4 generate as for service and folder name where you want to store that service and service name is let's say user uh, yeah, let me create with the capital letter users. We can create, I guess. Yeah, and uh, if you want, you can keep it the small letter also. That is fine. It will not make an impact. Yeah. Now you will find that in the app folder there are two more files, and here we will call our API, right? So first, what I'll do, I will create one more function there. Get user data or something, right? And uh, then or better we can just keep it get users yep that i think looks better right and inside this we have to call the api but before that uh, in the constructor let's create a private instance uh, http and it should be the instance of http client and you also need to check app config.ts if uh the provider the provide http client is not registered then you have to register this right as a function okay then after that come here and you can just take a constant with the name of url uh, url and there you can put url this is link yep and after that simply you can return this dot http yeah and the url right so this is perfectly working fine uh, what i guess because there is no error now uh, let's open app.component.ts and again we need constructor there constructor and inside this constructor let's take a private parameter and here you can see that let's say uh, user service right and it should be come from the user service file yep and we can keep it empty after that uh, let me just close it in the single line only and let's 
uh, use their one of the life cycle hook which is ng on init and inside this we will call this function this dot user service and we have to subscribe it because uh, the data which is returned by the HTTP is the you can say that uh, uh, async data because API always return the async data and HTTP handle it with the observable and to handle the observable we have to use the subscribe there alright and now you can take one more more property there and you can define its data type is any right because we need this uh, when uh, we are using it with the property and the property name is users and it's also by default type is any now if you will use there this dot user equal to data then this user can be used uh, in the template file to display the data and if you want to check this data like we have proper data or there or not then you can check in the console we have all these five data whatever we have in the api okay so app.component.ts there you can use at the rate for and there you can use user of users and we have to track it track then uh, track we can say that track with uh, user dot id and then we can simply use ul li and inside this we can simply use user dot uh, maybe name yep and there's a two more thing email and uh, h now come to the ur ui and here you can see that we are able to get the data from uh, api and display it there so this is all in next part we will see how we can uh, replace these any with the actual data type and for this we will use uh, interface so in next part you will get to know about interface as well as how we can define data type for uh, api thank you so much for watching this part if you still have any doubt any confusion you can ask me in the comment section thank you so much or this is my paytm or gpay donation number guys